All right, so the last video I made on the Mario 5 frame from Speedybee, I basically just showed the frame and how to put it together. I have since done the complete build here. I have not done the flight uh, video review yet. Uh, that will be coming soon, so don't worry about that. So there's different versions of this frame. So there's a dead cat frame, which is the one you're seeing here with the arms kind of further back from the, uh, get the, get the uh, props out of the view of the camera. And then there's an X version. So the, it's more like a traditional X type frame and comes in like different versions of those frames as well. So there's light, advanced and pro. And uh, basically the difference between light, light basically doesn't come with any TPU parts and you just say like a, basically like a bare frame. Don't get these little, little fancy aluminum parts. That's the advanced kit. So you can buy the light frame and then add the parts uh, later to get the advanced and also the pro. And the pro parts didn't come out at the time when I made the original video for this, for the frame review. And they've sent me those parts since then. So we're gonna go see what comes in the pro version. Basically, I think it's some add-on kits. I think it's some plastic uh, parts that cover the back and the side here where the flight controller and the air unit is. Uh, just kind of give it a little bit more sleek look if you want more, you know, a more fancy version. So you can, of course, still buy the pro version with everything all included, or you can buy, you know, like the light version and then buy the advanced parts and then buy the pro parts separately. But I think that costs more. So if you already know you want the advanced or the pro version, uh, with these parts up to end the video, just go to the link and buy the pro version of the frame. It'll save you a few dollars. All right, a quick look at the stuff you get in here. These are motor wire protectors. Uh, you send the motor wires through there and then you attach it to the arm. I am not sure what this is. I figured that out. I'll put it up here on the screen. And these are metal side plates, and I believe these are going to be for the O3 air units. So I'm not going to be able to attach these onto mine because I'm using the um, Vista. So I'm pretty sure this won't attach. It might attach to the maybe to the um, standoff. So I'm not 100 sure if this is going to help the Vista out or not. But I think this is for the O3 air unit. I'll put a picture up here of what it should look like. And these are the plastic side parts uh, for the flight control area. So it's going to go over here. So I'll try and get these on and uh, show you what that looks like a little bit later in the video. It looks like this kit comes with an extra battery strap. And here are the screws. I got some M3 screws, M2 screws. And I think this is an LED kit here. So uh, I think those will go in these plastic parts here to light up the side. So it doesn't look like uh, these parts are going to work for my build and mainly because I'm not using the O3 air unit. Um, the plastic part here screws into the metal part here, which attaches to the O3 air unit and then attaches to the frame. And that holds it in place right, like this right here on this side here. And then the little LED parts, um, the uh, little LED lights, they go into this slot right here, which then blocks my uh, USB port on my build here. And then the this front part of the plastic attaches to the standoff over in the front. So it looks like it goes in here like this. It'll snap into place and then the back part needs to be secured to that metal heat sink that's attached to the O3 air unit. And then, um, yeah, that looks like it's just going to pop out too easily. I'll probably lose it because it's nothing else securing it other than snapping it into that standoff, which is just basically a friction fit. And then my USB port's also completely blocked as well. So this is mainly decorative, not too functional. And for my particular build, I'm not going to go ahead and I'm not going to put it on there. And it just, it's going to add extra weight. You know, it's going to make it look nicer, of course, but um, for me, um, I don't use the O3 unit for this one here. I'm not sure how useful this is going to be in terms of heat dissipation because when you're flying around, you want to have direct airflow over the O3 air unit. Maybe this will help a little bit. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this video in terms of the pro parts and maybe for your build. Uh, if you may perhaps move the uh, USB port somewhere else, uh, etc., you know, that. Um, then this will be, won't be a problem in terms of blocking the USB port. Um, but other than that, I probably wouldn't recommend it. It's mostly decorative, adds weight, gives you some lights and stuff, um, but 
not going to be too useful for me. Anyway, that's going to do for this video. Got any questions, let me know. I'll have a video on the full review on the Mario 5 after I've done some more flights on it a little bit later. Stay tuned for that. Talk to you guys in the next one.